Players spend roughly 32 hours a week training at the club and as part of their wellbeing education, some of the younger boys are donning the apron and learning a very important life skill. Well-known Adelaide chef and longtime Crows supporter Chris Jarma is teaching the boys to cook. So Chris, we're in your beautiful home and you've been kind enough to welcome some of the younger boys. What have you got planned for them? Well tonight I'm going to show them how to make a simple sashimi dish, new style sashimi, and a mushroom and porcini risotto. Oh. And finish that off with teaching them how to cook some nice cuts of meat. My goodness, they're going to have their own restaurants after this. Oh, who knows? <laughs> what do you hope the players will get out of this lesson? Hopefully they'll pick up a few chef tips and some basic knife skills and, and learn about some ingredients that they haven't seen before. And come out of it with all of their fingers intact? Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> You're a very busy man running your own restaurant. What has inspired you to take time out of your schedule? Well, I'm a great supporter of the club and I really want to see these boys learn how to cook some new dishes and it, and it really makes me feel good and I definitely can't show them how to kick a football. <laughs> Look, to me, Food is just as important as footy. That's right. <laughs> Eat well, play well, I see it. Exactly right. Bring the knife down. So when you cut the fish, you need to bring the knife down. So for those at home, what would you say is the most important thing to learn when it comes to cooking? Look, don't be afraid to try new things. Definitely, you know, purchase nice, fresh ingredients, and that's, that's a good way to start. And yeah, just experiment, and, and if you fail, just try again. Nick, take us through what you've got here. Uh, yeah, we have some nice kingfish here, a uh, bit of tuna and some salmon also. Yum, and then this little one here, it looks piping hot. Yeah, uh, just a nice risotto dish. Delicious, it smells so good. Uh, how do you think it's gonna taste? Hopefully pretty good, we've got the uh, expert in, so it should be pretty good, I reckon. Anything of Chris Jarvis is pretty delicious, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is very delicious. Nick, what have you learnt tonight with Chris? Uh, I've learnt that you have to be very good with your hands to be a chef. I didn't realise how many different ways you could cook types of meat and stuff like that, so it's definitely been a very big learning curve. Out of the boys that were here tonight, who do you think fancies himself a bit of a chef? Luke Pedler reckons he's pretty good. I think right. him and Sam Berry just moved out early this year, so he's been talking himself up. Maybe they'll have to have you over and put their skills from tonight to the test. Yeah, I'm still waiting for an invite. I think they've been there for four months, so... Come waiting. on, time's ticking, boys. <laughs> said that cooking is both mental and physical therapy. That's even more reason for these guys to give it a go. 